Cardinal William Keeler will go down in history as one of the most powerful leaders in the Catholic Church. This morning, prayers for him to reach peace were answered. At the age of 86, Cardinal Keeler goes to heaven. Jamie Costello tonight with more on his incredible life. Our third Cardinal has been called home. William Henry Keeler, the priestly gentleman with the flowing white hair, thick glasses and a pleasant smirk on his fatherly face, led Catholics in the city for 18 years. In our Catholic history, we've only had four Cardinals. Cardinals Gibbons, Sheehan, a long stretch before Keeler, and then a historic quick one to Cardinal O'Brien. Cardinal Keeler was raised in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, became a priest in 1955, was the Archbishop of Harrisburg before getting the job of leading the first archdiocese in the nation. In 1994, Pope John Paul appointed him Cardinal. Here his moments came by inviting Pope John Paul to visit. He oversaw the 200th anniversary of the Catholic Church in Baltimore, restored our famed Basilica. He was active in promoting peace on the streets, knocking down barriers between Catholics and Jews. And he promised as an archbishop, he would do everything in his power to protect people from sex abuse. And with the growing population of Hispanics to Baltimore, the Cardinal would not be afraid to use Spanish from the altar, and the flock loved it. No one, no one could outraise him when it came to money for the church. He raised millions to build up the Catholic school system, making sure those less fortunate had a chance at a good education. It was known as the Lenten Appeal. After retiring, he moved to a beautiful home where retiring priests sit and pray. But he wanted to go where his mother spent her final years, with the Little Sisters of the Poor at St. Martin's on Maiden Choice Lane. Over the past several days, the sisters stood by and prayed around the clock for his soul. No one leaves this earth perfect, but for this Cardinal, he came ever so close. Gone, but definitely not forgotten. Funeral arrangements for Cardinal Keeler were announced earlier today. Monday from 1 until 7, there will be a public viewing at the Basilica. And Tuesday, there will be a public viewing at the Cathedral of Mary Our Queen from 9 until 1. The mass of Christian burial will follow at 2.